Hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. I represent Storm Spirit players around the world, and inside the channel, you'll find guides on Storm, other heroes, middle lane mechanics, streams, and coaching sessions. Your support keeps the content flowing, and if you'd like to contribute, find out how down below. With all that said, let's go. If you're playing a hero such as Storm, Queen of Pain, sometimes Windrager, Clings, and some others, you might have considered rushing an early Orchid to shut down slippery enemy heroes and secure the match from the moment you acquire that Orchid. Or maybe Orchid as an early item is listed in your favorite hero guide and you just want to follow the default item progression. Well today, we will talk about why blindly following old habits and being unable to see the bigger picture can lead to lost matches. First, let's talk about why, from the first glance, Orchid seems like a great pickup. In this match, my farm was decent, Ember isn't real ahead, and an early Orchid allows me to kill every hero I can reach, most importantly, the slippery Ember and Slark. So let's skip ahead. I can't hear you! Out of fuel. A few kills here and there, and a 12 minute orchid is complete. And with that orchid, we go around the map, securing whatever space we can get. Everything is looking great from here, right? Spoiler alert, we lost. Thank you for watching, good luck. Nah, let's rewind a bit. While from my own perspective the Orchid was in fact a great pickup, we must look for more variables that decide how the match is most likely to play out. Only then we can make an educated guess whether the Orchid was really paying off or not. First, let's analyze the Orchid itself. What does it give you? Early game Orchid provides among the best stats in the game, has great buildup, and the silence on top ensures that whoever the target is will most likely die. However, Orchid is all offense and no defense. If the target receives help in any way, the attacker is now left stranded and has to somehow maneuver out of the situation. So with Orchid, your early game engagements are mostly limited to pickoffs and playing hit and run during bigger fights. And this is where the draft of both teams come into play. If the enemy core loves to solo push when given the chance, such as Ember or Antimage, great! Orchid will definitely secure space by either killing those cores or making them afraid to farm the more dangerous spots they like to farm. However, if the enemy decides to group up, the hero with the Orchid has less opportunities to achieve pickoffs, and if his team is unable to provide the necessary support, the item essentially becomes countered. And that's why your team must be capable to either push after pickoffs or back up their Orchid teammates during bigger fights. But they won't be able to do either if for any reason they are underfarmed. 
This means that heroes such as Rave King, Lifestealer, and Dimage that want to naturally spend their early game collecting the first big item throughout jungle rotations will reduce the chance of an early Orchid pickup transitioning into a victory. This also means that if heroes that are willing to fight early, such as PA and Juggernaut, left their laning phase underfarmed, they will be less willing to join fights, which again reduces Orchid's effectiveness. And even if the early and mid game phases went with maximum utilization of the Orchid, we must also consider how every minute spent in the match introduces further counters to the item. The best way to visualize what I mean is to picture an Angelina completing Yules. That's it, your Orchid is no longer enough to achieve a solo kill on Lina, and the pickoff capabilities are severely reduced. This also holds true as heroes get big enough to naturally tank the Orchid's duration, collect other items that dispel or diminish the effects, or once more, just light group up after a certain amount of time. And these are most of the big things to consider when aiming for an early Orchid. Let's put our knowledge to the test for this particular match. Reasons why Orchid might work out? Great timing, good potential pickoff targets. Reasons why Orchid might not work out? Swan is rather ineffective during early game, the enemy team has great counter initiation. The less pressure we can maintain, the faster the enemy Mars and Spirit Breaker will become too beefy with just levels, and the Emberwood Slark will negate Orchid with Yules and Shadow Blade. If during this time the hero with the Orchid isn't able to maintain the momentum, he won't be able to itemize fast enough to offset Orchid's lack of defenses. And that's why every Orchid pickup is a gamble. Either you snowball of it long enough to maintain the pressure throughout the game, or you soon end up with a dead end item and not enough space to recover. By now you're probably thinking, when is Orchid not a risk item? I don't have an answer. Nobody does. Ultimately, each match is an individual experience, sometimes what looks like a bad Orchid match can turn out great and vice versa. If you are unsure of the outcome, it is best to play it safe and gear up in a balanced way, with items that either cover what your team lacks or help slow down the enemy's advances. As long as you don't blindly follow the same build every match, you're on the right track. This concludes today's topic, next week we are going to explore an actual good Orchid match, and for now, thank you for watching, good luck.